I was talking to a baker the other day, and he's a little concerned he's eating into his profits. My name is Victor Ashley with Skyline Properties. I'm a real estate agent out of Seattle, Washington. You can reach me directly at 425-559-4590, and also my email is in the description below. Hey, I wanted to take a quick moment and say thank you to uh, everyone that's uh, been supporting me in this channel. I talked to a couple of friends yesterday, and they were pretty surprised that um, you know the channel is actually above 70 subscribers right now. And I uh, just looked at the numbers for last month, and uh, I had actually 20,000 views. I was pretty surprised by that. So um, just, you know, again, thank you. And just like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment if this kind of works for you. Um, also, since I'm a smaller YouTuber, um, I take a lot of people's information, um, you know, pretty seriously uh, in what they ask me. So if you have something that you want to see, uh, just uh, me do a little series or video on in this in this uh, channel, you know, just drop me an email and my emails in the description. Like I said, just drop me a quick email with your situation. I'll reach out to you and I'll see if that's something I can make into a video for everyone. OK, so uh, let's go into the HOAs because this is something I keep on talking about um, in my reviews. So if you're new to the channel, I review right now four uh, zip codes inside of Linwood. Um, as well as two zip codes in Seattle proper. Now, we're going to go to the Queen Anne neighborhood, and that's the 98119 uh, zip code. Uh, but again, I review this one every single week um, with you guys. And what I did is I, I just did this review yesterday. Uh, today is March 12th, uh, Sunday, and happy daylight savings time. Uh, so if you didn't know, um, I have a cup of coffee right over here, and then you know, definitely feeling the effects of losing that hour. So now that we're talking about losing an hour, let's talk about losing some money. Let's go into HOAs. All right. So uh, let's go into uh, a couple of quick things that uh, you might not know. So the average car payment in the United States is $716 a month, and that's on new cars and $526 a month on used cars. But Victor, I thought we were talking about HOAs. Uh, we are. Let's actually compare. That's a good comparison of how much HOAs actually cost and how much they affect your buying power. Now, uh, at the Queen Anne area, and I came up with the average price uh, of an available house under a million dollars, $628,000. Uh, um, $628, it's been on the market for 58 days, and it's a two-bed, one-and-a-half uh bath and a little over 1100 square feet now what we realize with that is there's a lot of hoas so the reason why i talk to you about the age the cost of a car is because over here 690 came out to the cost of the hoas in that um, just that sample size that i did yesterday so i did the sample size yesterday um and when we ran through the review uh, and you can see that review right here if you really want to see it. Uh, but when we ran when we ran through it, um, our purchase price kept on getting affected by the HOAs, and that's the reason why I'm doing this video today, is because it's basically adding another car to your debt to income ratio. Um, so in your normal finances, when you're when your uh, mortgage officer is actually sitting there and doing the numbers with you. Um, essentially think of it as buying another car in the middle of the transaction. Um, it's going to really affect your uh, your debt to income ratio. It's going to affect um, just your commitments that you're going to have to do. And then at the same time, I'm going to actually show you what it looks like when it affects your purchasing power. So uh, I already did some math on this, but our, to buy the average house in the Queen Anne neighborhood uh, for the 98119 for the review yesterday, I came up with, uh, you're going to need about $180,000 household income. That's also a $60,000 down payment, and your monthly bills are going to be uh, $250 uh, dollars a month. That brought us to a purchase price right at six uh, thirty five, dollars And then the interest rates, like I said, I'm shooting them right in the middle, but right now interest rates are, are in flux quite a bit. Uh, so this gives you an idea of what you're actually looking at. Now, if we add the $690 to our monthly debt on this, uh, that's going to sizably affect uh, what we can actually afford. So uh, that just brings our monthly debt to $940 a month. 
and that impacts our purchase price by over seventy thousand um, dollars. So this is uh, actually it affects our purchase price by about sixty five thousand seventy thousand dollars. So um, yeah, it's it's quite a bit of money. So if we were going to buy this house together, and you give me a pre approval letter. And you say, hey, Victor, I'm approved for $635,000, but I want to look at the average house in, in Queen Anne. Um, I'm going to say, hey, great. Um, let's start looking at the houses in the 550 range. And you're like, why is that, Victor? I can, I can afford to buy more. Well, it's because the HOAs, if you're going to be purchasing something with the HOAs, this is the reason why. Okay, so we're going to go into the, the couple of ones that we did the review for yesterday, uh, just one or two. Uh, but these ones highlighted right here, these are the ones I uh, pointed out are some of the best picks uh, that we actually reviewed yesterday. Uh, they were not the best picks for purchase. I just picked them so we actually re reviewed them. Now, actually, let's get into how much that costs uh, just on a basis. Okay, so uh, they had on this one here, number four, it was over on Ray Street. It was uh, $485,000. So let's just do some purchase price uh, math to make that happen. So $485,000, let's do 160, 140, and let's do 135. Okay, so this is pretty close to what the average person can actually afford in this area. Uh, the down payment's gonna be a little higher uh, but if you came in here uh, looking for this condo at $485,000, and here's our example, and you had the exact same credit scenario that I just talked about. Now, if we add the HOAs, let's just see how that works. Uh, $622 is the HOA there. And let's do this $872. So this reduces your purchase price below the amount that you can actually afford to buy that house. So this is $420,000 is your purchase price, uh, roughly. And um, yeah, you just, you get to the point of your negotiations and you're going to have to be purchasing the house at $420,000 to make this work. So um, I didn't want to get too negative on this, but I wanted to point out that HOAs are going to affect your purchasing power and it's pretty sizable. As we just discussed, is basically like adding another car to your debt to income ratio. So if you have more questions about this kind of stuff or you have uh, you have some feedback for me, you know, just get a hold of me. Uh, my email's in the comment uh, section below, as well as uh, you could just drop me a text and I'll be happy to you know work with you. Uh, please like, subscribe, follow. And if uh, this really worked for you or it might work for someone else, feel free to share it because again, I'm not exactly sure who needs to hear this today, but it might be important to you. Um, thank you for working with me today. It was a pleasure as always, and I hope you have a wonderful day.